Hello everybody, it is Camille here and welcome back to another video. Now, today is super exciting because it is currently Monday, April 15th and it is our school's spring break this week. So we get this whole week off and my mom and I are going to St. Augustine, Florida for the break. I'm super excited. So yeah, we are leaving and flying there this morning. It's currently 5.25 a.m. And then like Thursday afternoon, we're coming back. But I'm super excited. I'm also kind of nervous though, because this is my first time being on a plane in over four years like guys i haven't been on an airplane since january 1st of 2020 like that's before covid but anyways i'm still like super excited for this trip i'm just excited to get out of here like i really needed this and it's just gonna be super relaxing like we're staying at this like hilton Bath suite or something like that it looks so nice like the hotel the rooms the pool and it has its own beach and we're just like gonna be relaxing the whole time but yeah super excited i do have to finish packing though i literally just have to like pack my toothbrush and then my phone charger and then i'm good like that's everything because i spent like yesterday and then the day before that pretty much just packing everything so i just like have my toothbrush and charger so yeah i'm gonna go put that away and i will i guess just see y'all before we're gonna leave all right y'all so we gonna be leaving now and i just want to let y'all know that anything that i vlog until probably until we get to the hotel is gonna be on my phone so any clip after this until we get to the hotel like it's gonna be different quality and that's why because i'm gonna be filming on my phone so yeah i'll see y'all later Onto the airplane here with my mom. Yep. All right, so it's like two and a half, three hour flight. Got a nice window seat. Always love the window seats. guys so we're in this is our car for the time being we're here um but we landed in jacksonville florida so we have about like an hour long drive to get to saint augustine so i'll see y'all once we're there okay we have made it to the hotel it's super nice but our room's actually not ready for like a couple of hours so my mom and i are just gonna like change into our bathing suits in the bathroom that's where we're at right now and just kind of like walk around i guess we're gonna try and get some food some lunch so i'll probably see you guys when we figure that all out we are currently ignore the construction behind us that's been annoying <laughs> but we're currently relaxing by the pool. I got a little pina colada and we ordered some buffalo chicken quesadillas. So we have officially made it into our hotel room. Guys, this is like like a literal mini house. We're gonna do a little hotel room tour right now. 
Okay, so first you walk in and there's like this nice little living room space. We'll probably watch like the WNBA draft in here tonight. Super excited for that. I can like not speak. Like I'm, why am I like mispronunciating everything? There's like a little office space. Maybe do some editing in here. We got a nice little kitchen, sink, some snacks. We got a fridge and a microwave. And then in here, if you want to iron some clothes, go for it. Next up is the bathroom. I actually haven't seen it yet. So this isn't my first time stepping in. Ooh, this is a nice shower. Toilet, of course. I like this shower, this is cute. A little fish painting and me again. And then the moment we have all been waiting for here is our bedroom that's where my mom is going to be sleeping and then this is where my bed is where i'm going to be sleeping nice little middle space and then we got tv then nice little closet to store our clothes and i haven't been out here yet but we do have a balcony not the best sounds but this is the view That's what happens when you stay at a hotel where there is construction going on that you don't know about until you get here. Okay, we're gonna head back to the pool for a little. So I'll see you guys probably once we're back here and then after I shower. Hey guys, so I am back in the hotel room now. My mom wanted to stay by the pool, so she's still there, but I'm gonna shower now and just like, relax whatnot so the next time i'll see you guys is probably when we're gonna go out for dinner well not go out we're gonna like eat here but you know what i mean okay so it's a bit later now and now my mom and i are gonna go down just like walk around see what else is in this hotel and then we're gonna have dinner okay so we're back in our hotel room Dinner was really great and my mom and I are about to watch the WNBA draft now. But okay, for dinner I had salmon and asparagus. It was really good. But guys, we got dessert. We got this like dulce de leche cake and oh my goodness. So freaking good. I'll insert a photo of it like up here. Guys, it was unbelievable. Like it was so good. <laughs> Yeah, but we're gonna watch the draft now and then I think we're just gonna like venture out around town just for like a little bit to end the night. And yeah, that's basically all we're gonna do for the rest of the day. So I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It is currently 8.07 a.m. It is day two of our little spring break trip here in Florida. Um, yeah, woke up about, like, I'd say, like, half an hour ago or something, but I just ordered at Starbucks, if you didn't see on my phone, because there was, like, a notification for it. Um, so, yeah, I ordered that, so in a little, my mom and I are going to go downstairs, I'm going to get my Starbucks, and then we're probably just going to, like, chill for a bit we're still trying to like figure out everything that's going on today because whatever this construction is like our beach the beach for the hotel we're staying at is closed today so they're doing this thing where they'll like take you on like a trolley or whatever it is i don't know um to a separate beach so we're probably gonna do that. I just don't know when the whole thing is happening, but we're definitely trying to have a beach day today and then figure out whatever for dinner. And then at 7.20 tonight, we have the like ghost town trolley thing. So yeah, super excited for that. Should still be a pretty fun day despite everything that's going on with the construction and all the loud noises um yeah so we're probably gonna go get my starbucks now 
hey guys so we are back in the hotel room now but breakfast was good and i got my starbucks but my mom and i just like sat outside for a bit but okay so last night when we were venturing out just driving around we okay so where we're staying is like saint augustine beach but we went into like the town of saint augustine guys it was gorgeous like I, I i felt like i was literally like in rome like i didn't even feel like i was in america anymore when we went down there it feels like a whole different country the way it looks it's it's just beautiful it's amazing but my mom and i are actually gonna like go take a walk down there now because it's not too far away and we wanted to check it out during the daytime okay guys we're in this like cute little surf shop right now and i'm gonna get this really cute bathing suit and then this like black cover-up set absolutely in love with like everything they have here hey guys so um it's been a while little update it is now 1 44 p.m and just a little recap of everything that happened we went out to this super cool like lighthouse and museum they actually let us walk to the top of the lighthouse i think it was like 219 stairs but it was super cool and we walked through a few of like the little museum spots and then we just got back from this little food spot and I got a burrito and oh my goodness, probably one of the best burritos I've ever had in my life. But yeah, so that's just like a quick little update of everything that has happened. My mom and I are going to drive down to the beach shortly. I did just get like a few things while we were out. So I'll do a mini haul. First up from the like lighthouse museum is this cute little blue greenish like teal crew neck and then my mom was like camille you need to get new flip-flops because to be honest the other ones i have are pretty dirty so i got these super cute flip-flops that i'm oh <laughs> that i'm definitely going to be wearing when we go to the beach and also what i'm going to wear i got this cute little like cover-up white pants I actually saw someone wearing these earlier and so when i saw them i was like oh my gosh they like look super adorable i need to get them for myself so we have these all right now i'm gonna get changed for the beach all right y'all here is our beach fit so i will see you guys later once we come back so guys we just got back from the beach but now i'm gonna take a shower and we're gonna start getting ready for dinner. Okay, so we're gonna go to dinner near like where the ghost town trolley thing is. So gonna do that. Don't know where we're gonna eat yet, but we're just gonna like walk around and find a place. Cause last night when we were driving around, there were like a bunch of food spots. So do that, probably walk around for a bit and then we'll have the ghost town tour and if anything, I'll just like film that on my phone. Okay, we are in this little pizza place for dinner. Of course, I got a pepperoni pizza. But according to TripAdvisor, it is ranked, they have ranked it as the second best pizza in the world, right? No? In the country. Sorry. Okay. Second rank, second, <laughs> ranked second, ranked second best pizza in the country according to TripAdvisor. So let's give it a try. Hold on. That is really good. So guys, I apologize. I forgot to film during the ghost town tour thing, 
because there's just a lot going on and I was like kind of focused in on everything. Mom, did you like it? It was riveting. <laughs> it was a lot, but it was pretty cool. Like learned a lot of very interesting stuff, but we are going to, yeah. We are going to this place called May Day now. It's an ice cream place. Also something I forgot to mention is that tonight at 10, the Warriors play the Kings for the play-in tournament. So really hoping that they can win tonight. Let's go Warriors. <laughs> yeah, that's a 10. I'm gonna try and watch that. And y'all know what happened the last time the Warriors played the Kings in the postseason. Let's get another 50 piece from Curry. Okay, so this is what I got. It's Nutella with like little chunks of Biscoff cookies and it's really good. So guys, first off, I want to say ice cream was fabulous. I'm testing out this little office wheelie chair in the living room. But I'm gonna get ready and get changed now. And then my mom and I are gonna watch the Warriors Kings game. I would like to watch the whole thing, obviously, because it's like a big deal. Like, cause like whoever loses their season is completely over. And obviously I don't want that for the Warriors. So it's like, if the Warriors win, I wanna like watch that experience. <laughs> Especially like in the playoffs, if you know, you know, just like in any sports, there are certain situations where you just like have to watch the entire game. But then again, like we're trying to be up early and just go relax on like, like near the pool for most of the morning. So we'll just like kind of figure that out throughout. But I definitely want to watch up until halftime. But like I said, I'm going to get ready for bed now and then I will check in with you guys before the game is about to start. All right, y'all, I'm all ready to go. I got my Golden State Warriors shirt on. So it is now day three, our final full day here. Um but the Warriors lost last night, so their season is over. I mean, like, Clay Thompson was scoreless, and the defense was just not the best, but I mean, there's nothing you can do, because, like, at the end of the day, like, Yes, it sucks when it's a very important game, but there are gonna be times where you have bad games and you can't really control it. Um, I mean, everyone's gonna have their opinion, but like personally, I don't wanna blame anyone. Like, a, like a, a specifically, like I'm not gonna blame anyone. Like, I'm not blaming Clay Thompson for this loss while like him scoring could have helped a lot like there's um like nothing you can really do about it and i mean gary payton the second he was out too and he's like one of if not the best defender on the warriors so it really just sucks to see how this is the end of the season but i just told my mom this um yeah, like, it's rough right now, but you know why I'm not worried? Because when this happened in 2021 and the world turned their backs on the Warriors and all were like, okay, these guys are done. Y'all know what they did next year? The year after that? They won the championship. They won everything. Um, so that's not why I'm too worried, obviously, like, I mean, like, I don't know what's gonna happen with Clay. I'd love for him to stay. Um, but that's just, like, at the end of the day, that's just not up to me. 
And especially because, like, he did have a pretty solid season despite this game. And I feel like um, this team we have right now is good. There's just, like, one thing missing. Because if you watch NBA basketball, you can agree that towards the end of the season, the Warriors, they were definitely finding their rhythm and winning more games compared to the beginning of the season. I just think there's one thing missing that will get them to that like championship level. So hopefully they can figure out what that is. Again, I don't know because like the outcome still could have been the same, but I feel like if Clay scored and GP2 was playing, the Warriors definitely probably might have had a better chance at winning. Yeah, but I don't really know the plan for today. We're still kind of figuring out what we're gonna do. So I will update you guys later. Oh, what is this lighting? All right, <laughs> anyways guys, my mom and I are going down to tan at the pool for a little and then in like, I don't know, maybe two hours or so, we're gonna go out and get lunch at this burger place. And it said it was like the top 25 best burger place. It said it was the top 25 best in the country. Okay, we have a new food review, but this time we're at a diner and we got a burger. And it's like voted top 25 burger joint in the US. So. Not sure if I do. Yeah. But that's a really good burger. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that's a really good burger. Okay. I do gotta say that was hands down the best burger I've ever had. New, new favorite burger unlocked. But we also got some like chili cheese fries and a Caesar salad and the food, all of it was just like phenomenal. So if you're ever looking for a place to get some really good food and you're, yeah, and you're in St. Augustine, come to, yeah, if you're in St. Augustine Beach, go to Obie's fill-in station to get some really good food. Okay, we're gonna head down to the beach now. I also got this little cool Kobe Bryant book slash like magazine when we were at CVS yesterday. So I'm gonna bring that to read. Okay, so my mom is going to take some pictures of me now in this little spot by the beach and I'm wearing the outfit that I got yesterday. Super cute, super comfy. So let's go take these pics. Also, if you wanna check them out, they will be on my Instagram, which is just my name, Camille Brown, but it has two C's. Hey guys, so update, it is now 6.44 and my mom and I are about to head out for dinner. We're going to this place just across the street. It's called Snack Shack and it's like a seafood restaurant, but it's like a super casual restaurant. So this is what I'm wearing and I'm gonna eat some good food. Super excited. So I will tell you all how it goes once we get back. Hey guys, so it is now 9.30 and we just got back to our hotel room but dinner was so so good i got this hawaiian shrimp bowl fantastic okay but the place we went to last night the may day ice cream place our like hotel has this like little like convenience store i guess in the hotel and they sell like these little mayday tiny like quartz or whatever and this one is creamy and salty peanut butter swirled ice cream with chunks of oreos 
So I'm gonna eat this now for dessert. Probably just gonna chill for the rest of the night. Not gonna do much else. Uh, yeah, so I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is our last day here. I say day because like we're leaving this afternoon. Um, anyways, it is 10.52 and our checkout is at 11 and our flight isn't actually until like three o'clock. So you're probably like, oh my gosh, Camille, what are you gonna do until then? Well, my mom and I wanted to kind of just venture out and see more of St. Augustine on foot. So we're basically just gonna walk around town until we have to go to the airport. So yeah, that's the plan. Um, probably not gonna vlog anything else. So I'll just see you guys once we're back home. Hey guys, so as you can tell, we are back home now. It is like 8.30ish, but we've been home for a bit. I showered, put all my stuff away, and now we're here. So guys, this is where I'm going to be ending this vlog. Our beautiful spring break trip video has come to an end, but I hope you all enjoyed. I really hope I can do more videos like this in the future because I really enjoyed not only the vacation, but like filming what we're doing. But yeah, you know the drill. I'll see you next time. Peace, uh, broccoli.